Sitting here at social home, social distancing at home. Well, trying we're to not social trying to keep the best of it. Well, we're not social distancing because we're already <laughs> probably <laughs> affected each other. So, how do we feel being at home? How is it affecting what we create? Well, the funny thing is, we're for us, it's kind of normal to be working on things at home. Because we tend to we work on things at home and then we take them back out into the bigger world normally. That's true. So in some ways it feels like a normal work day for us. Yeah, but but it does feel different in the sense of how it's impacting some of the things we've been working on, I think. And I think it's been strengthening our sense of purpose, the the kind of effect that we want our art to have. Yeah, and thinking a lot about what is the function of art and how does it serve? And it seems, it seems in a time like this, it, it, it makes you contemplate is what I'm creating or putting out there really of any help, you know? Well, you know, I was thinking about the phrase art endures. And I think it's true that art endures. And I also think that it's true that art can help us endure. It can help us endure uh, times like these. And so the kind of art that we want to be doing is art that helps others to endure, and not just endure, but to thrive. Well, and also, when you put it like that, something we've been doing for fun is just going through a lot of other people's created art through music, going through a lot of show tunes that we hadn't really worked on together before, because usually we're working on original stuff. So it was fun to kind of explore some of that canon. And listen, as we, as we rehearse, as we sing, Listen to what the songs might have to offer the present moment. Well, so for example, there's a song that we both love from Sunday in the Park with George by Stephen Sondheim, Finishing the Hat, that is contemplation on, on the isolation that an artist often feels they're in in order to be able to do their work and the price they pay for that, that conflict of wanting to be with others but feeling isolated to do that work. And I always thought that was a beautiful song, but it seems to have extra resonance now because I guess we're feeling more isolated. And in that isolation and in that conflict, there's still the urge, the urge to create, the urge to finish the hat. Always the urge to finish the hat. Why don't we play the song for them? Okay. You can use your, your notebook as the, your artist's sketch pad, Painter George. Okay, all right. Yes. Mademoiselles, you and me, pal. Second bottle, oh, she looks for me. Bonnet flapping, yapping. Ruff, ruff. Chicken, pastry. Yes, she looks for me. Good. Let her look for me to tell me why she left me, as I always knew she would. I had thought she understood. They have never understood, and no reason that they should. But if anybody could... Finishing the hat. How you have to finish the hat. How you watch the rest of the world from a window. While you finish the hat, mapping out the sky, you feel like gladding a sky. You feel when voices that come through the window go until they distance and die. Till there's nothing but sky, and how you're always turning back to. From the grass 
or the stick or the dog or the light How the kind of a woman willing to wait Not the kind that you wanna find waiting to return you to the night Coming from the hat, studying the hat, entering the world of the hat, reaching through the world of the hat like a window. Back to this one from that, studying a face. To look at a face Leaves a little space in the way Like a window But to see It's the only way to see And when a woman that you wanted goes You can say to yourself But I give what I give But the woman who won't wait for you goes However you live, there's a part of you always standing by, mapping out the sky. Finishing a hat, starting on a hat, finishing a hat. Look, I made a hat. Where there never was a hat 